Hi guys, I'm coming to you with a really quick tip sort of video, so it's not a recipe, kind of is a recipe, but it's a recipe to make your house smell really good whenever you're frying stuff. Now, I hate frying for a few reasons. The number one reason why I hate frying things in the house, I try to fry things outside whenever I can, but whenever I can't and I absolutely have to, I hate it because it makes the house smell horrible. Now, whether if you're frying fish or even if you're frying something simple like french fries, which really doesn't have too much of an like an aroma, um, it still smells horrible because, I don't know, anytime you heat up oil, it just releases this weird smell and it just penetrates through everything in the house and it smells bad for probably two days. Now, I've tried everything. I've tried boiling cloves and cinnamon sticks. I've tried boiling vinegar and you name it, I've tried it. And then just recently, I said, let me give, give this a try. I went to my local um, restaurant supply store and I bought this big huge bottle of imitation vanilla flavor. It's fairly inexpensive if you compare it to the price of a regular pure vanilla extract, which is the only thing I use in my baking. I would never use this stuff, but it is so perfect for making your house smell good. Basically, all I do is take some vanilla extract, the fake stuff, <laughs> a little bit of ground cinnamon and whatever citrus I have in the house. Most of the time it's orange. And let me show you how I do it. You want to fill up a little saucepan halfway with water, throw one or two oranges in there or lemons are fine. And then go ahead and add about two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. And you definitely do not want to use good pure vanilla extract for this. This is where you want to get a big huge container of imitation flavored vanilla. This is definitely not something that I recommend using in cooking, but it makes the house smell amazing. And go ahead and pour about half a cup or more of the vanilla extract in there. Bring it to a boil. Once it boils, reduce it to a very low simmer and it is going to make your house smell absolutely amazing. Now, if you hear that crackling sound in the back, it's because I'm filming my zucchini, my zucchini meatball recipe that you might have already seen, but if you haven't, make sure you go and check it out. I'll link it up here somewhere in the card section. You can just let it simmer on the stove for an hour or even a few hours if you really want to get the smell out and have the house smelling very like holiday-like. I love the smell of vanilla and cinnamon. It just reminds me of like an apple pie baking in the oven. Of course, you can throw other um, flavorings in there like clove powder or even a little bit of nutmeg if you like it. I'm not a huge fan of the smell of nutmeg, so I would probably leave it to cinnamon and clove powder, but it really works. It works so well that I use it every time. So I'm frying my zucchini fritters right now. I have this simultaneously simmering and that way when anybody walks into my house, they will not smell the, the fried smell. They'll just smell this. And it's actually happened so many times where people walked in and they're like, oh my God, that smells so good. What are you doing? And it's something so simple like this. If it starts to simmer down and evaporate too fast, just go ahead and add a little bit more water and a little bit more of the imitation vanilla extract. It works like a charm. I hope you guys give it a try and you like it. Let me know if you did in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if there's another trick that you use that maybe I haven't heard of. I love to hear your tips and tricks. I read all the comments. Thank you guys so much and I will see you all next time. Yes, us.